Welcome to the Vision and Purpose Podcast, where we dive deep into the lives of incredible people who have made a mark on the world. Join us as we explore the journeys, stories, and passions of individuals who have achieved extraordinary feats, shattered barriers, and inspired us all. And now your host, Dr. Sharon H. Porter. Hello, everyone. My name is Sharon H. Porter. I am the host of Vision and Purpose Podcast. I'm excited to bring you my guest today. She is Miss Tammy Reese. She is owner of Visionary Minds Public Relations and Media. She is an award-winning writer and journalist, best known for landing major interviews with Angela Bassett, Sharon Stone, Sajigarni Weaver, Lawrence Fishburne, Gina Davis, and more. I am just so excited. She is a proud Forbes Black member, as well as New York Women in Film and Television. Miss Tammy Reese, how are you? I'm amazing, Dr. Sharon. Thank you so much for having me. It's just an honor to be in your presence today. I'm so excited to chat. Yes, yeah, so excited. We met through Forbes Black, um, such yeah. an amazing organization that has just afforded us so many networking opportunities. Yes, yes, <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful community to be Absolutely. a part of and highly recommend it. Absolutely. So I'm just really excited to really get to know a little more about you. We have really forced an amazing partnership. Um, And so to have this opportunity now is just an honor for me. So I'm really excited. Let's get to know who Tammy Reese really is. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so so here for it. I introduced you. Yeah. You know, I introduced you with a lot of information, but please, can you start by describing your background a little bit about who you are and what it is that you do? Thank you so much for the platform, Dr. Sharon. First and foremost, I'm a mother. I'm engaged. I have a fiance. I'm a Scorpio. (laughs) I'm an entrepreneur. My company is Visionary Minds, Public Relations and Media. I assist creators and entrepreneurs with building their press coverage portfolios and obtaining more brand visibility online so they can promote their products, services, events, and talents to different networking, opportunity, different media platforms, so have you. My personal brand is Tammy Reese Media. I'm an award-winning writer and journalist. I love covering film festivals. I love covering people making a great social impact, someone who has a great perseverance and triumph story to tell. I just love interviewing. I love storytelling. My background is in directing, writing, and acting. I started my career in theater, ended up going to Empire State College, obtaining a degree in media studies. And I just love all things entertainment and media. And I've been stuck in the game ever since, just loving it. I love that. So what really inspired you to even pursue this career in media? My parents inspired me. My parents always did something that made an impact. My dad was a veteran. He served 16 years in the U.S. military. My mom was one of well, was the first female Black woman president of the Syracuse chapter of the NAACP. So they're always making an impact in the community. And I always was into films and TV. And I used to be a a kid in my living room acting out TV shows and films. And my mom was like, you know what? I named you Tamara after my favorite actress, Tamara Dobson. You sure you don't want to be an actress? I'm like, well, mom, I'm always acting. Let me try it out. I really like it. Then a school play came up in elementary school audition. I ended up getting the lead. I'm like, mom, like, I really love this. Mom and dad, you know, I think I can really do this. So they had me audition for a company that was based in Syracuse, New York called the Media Unit. And the rest is history. The Media Unit will perform in 60 live stage shows a year, all on topics of social concern. Um, We produce a weekly TV show out of our public access cable station called Rough Times Live. So as a youth, I was a a stage actress, dancer, writer, TV host, camera operator. Um, The list goes on. And um, I was in the media unit for eight years before I ended up going to college. And I really say the media unit just inspired me to truly pursue this career because I learned everything in entertainment and media front and behind the scenes. I learned not only the skills, but the discipline and hard work it takes um, to do what I do. 
And the producer, Watt Shepard, who's no longer with us, was my first mentor who believed in me outside of my parents. And I owe my career to him wholeheartedly for believing in me. This black girl from the south side of Syracuse where, you know, the RICO law came and took down gang members. And, you know, I didn't get caught up in that life. I, I pursued dreams and that's just seems um, unattainable. Um, but yeah, yeah, my background and my parents and my mentor just encouraged me to stick with it and never give up. That's amazing. And I love how you had all of that um, exposure at an early age, right? It sounds like the media light, media unit is an awesome and amazing place. Um, even now, it sounds like it's still going on. Well, it was around 40 years in 2019. The producer retired um, and I co-hosted his retirement party um, when he dismantled the company after 40 years. He oh, passed wow. in 2022. Um, he has a profound legacy in the Syracuse region and beyond for helping mm. youth and young adults you know, pursue their dreams. He helped me get a college scholarship. Wow. Um, it, it just a real impact in my life. He truly was. Um, there's other arts programs here in our region, but the media unit stands tall with um, wow. definitely helping, especially young people of color wow. pursue their dreams in our region. That's amazing. So in this age of social media, um, how do you see the role of traditional media um, really evolving in all of that? You know, because you have social media, you have the traditional media and you're involved in both. You have to be these days. Right. Right. How do you see that evolving? I see it evolving tremendously because it already has, like, even before I went to college, there wasn't a YouTube, there wasn't social media apps, you know, um, you had to really grind and, you know, learn and get this education to even be in the media industry. Um, now you can just go on YouTube and get a tutorial, you know, um, you don't have to have a, a media degree to make a TikTok or build your fan base or, you know, anyone's a journalist or a content creator. And I don't say that with shade, you know, the more informed and things we are, um, the better. Um, but you have to keep up with technology and you have to keep up with the ever evolving. Just think of like even the iPhone wasn't even thought of when I went to school for me. <laughs> like, right. It's like the best thing invented ever, just cell phone, you know, even Androids. Um, so it's definitely vital to keep up with the trends. And who knows 10 years from now, what's going to be invented then? <laughs> exactly. No, you're absolutely correct. And that really leads me to my next question. How how do you keep up? Because it's it's. it's always changing, right? There's always something new um, to put under your repertoire. So how do you keep up with the industry's latest? I'm going to be honest with you. It is it is a challenge. Um, people may laugh that I never even wanted an iPhone, Dr. Sharon. I'm <laughs> telling you, I would have been so fine with my Android. I'm very traditional and set in my ways with some things. Um, but, you know, people in my industry encourage me, just think about it, just get an iPhone, it's more, you know, apps, it'll be better for you as a writer, use more tools, advance some camera technology, just just do it. And now I'm addicted and I don't want anything else but wow. an iPhone, but I guess it's just pushing myself and not being in my comfort zone and and that have you. So, like I said, I, I, I would have been perfectly fine as long as I could call and text. <laughs> I love it. I love no, it. Yes. Me, no. <laughs> I'm fine, but I guess we just got to keep pushing ourselves to even if yeah. we're not comfortable or think it's not going to work for us. Yeah. Just do I it. That. Yes. <laughs> and I'm telling you, your list, your profile, your list of uh, A-list celebrities that you've had the awesome opportunity to interview. I mean, that's got to be amazing. Right. And so. Talk us through that. You know, is there one that stands out more than the other? I mean, you have a whole list to choose from. Is there one um, and, and of those celebrities, you know, because I know you you also interview non-celebrities, but your list is, is great for celebrity interviews. Which one stands out for you? Thank you for asking that. And uh, of course, yes, I do interview non-celebrities as well. I always say, you know, you treat the janitor the same as CEO. Everyone is deserves to be celebrated. Everyone has a story to tell. Um, no matter how much money you have, what your resume says, everyone is important to speak to. Um, in regard to celebrities, it, it's so hard to answer because there's just so many different reasons. Um, I would say Angela Bassett, for sure. Um she is just a renowned actress, a cultural role model, a role model to Black women, a, a huge 
vital treasure to entertainment industry, um, hands down. I mean, that's the mother of Wakanda. She's played everyone's under the sun mother. Um, she's Tina Turner. You know the you know the list goes on. Yeah. Um, I got to interview her prior to the 2023 Tribeca Film Festival. She was celebrating the anniversary milestone. Estella got her groove back. And I interviewed her for New York Women in Film and Television. And just to talk to her about, you know, in hindsight of her experience working on that film and filming in beautiful Jamaica and how she's still in touch with the cast and how she knows um, her career has you know, impact people lives who follow her career. It just was a gem and jewel um, to speak to this amazing woman. It, it's just an honor. When I look at my resume, since I'm still pitching myself, like I can't believe that happened. Um, definitely her, mm -hmm. um, for sure. Yeah, I tell you, it, it's it's got to be amazing um, when you look at it and you talk to them and you find out, because I, I'm sure you see a different side of them that, you know, just, you know, a, an average person on film, you know, you get to uh, have a glimpse of the inside of who they are. So I think that's amazing. Uh, what would you say to those who are aspiring? Um, there are so, first of all, and, and you said anyone now can sort of pick up a, a phone or a Zoom or whatever and, and go and do this work. But there are so many people. I love really paying it forward, right? Looking at those young women to come. Um, that are sitting there and just dreaming of maybe doing what you're doing. What advice would you give to someone who has not yet started this walk, but are very interested? I would definitely say be true to yourself. And it may sound cliche, but it's so true. Like I had people in my ear saying, you know, Tammy transformed to gossip blogging um, because you may get more eyes or a bigger following and clickbaits and all this. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can look at people, blogs, who are gossip, but me as a gossip journalist, no, I, that's not me. It would never be me. Um, I would feel like I'm being fake. I, I just can't do that just for more views or more followers or, you know, bigger eyes or anything like that. I'm being true to myself. I, I, when I, even when I interview celebrities, I don't care who they're sleeping with. I don't care about their drama. I just want to mm -hmm. know about them as a person, how they got, where they are, what they're working on, what they it. got coming up. I want to know them as a person outside of just their talents. Um, and, you know, I try to make my interview just inspirational um, mm -hmm. as possible. You know, it's too much negativity out there in the world. And it's already hard for, you know, Black journalists to get opportunities and, you know, be in certain rooms. So I just want to be true to myself and, and keep it positive. So that's my advice uh, to people, you know, don't let anyone try to change you. <laughs> don't I do love it. it. I love Especially it. Especially for followers and views. Don't right. do it. I love that. I really do. It's just so... I don't know. It's, it's an eye opener because you're right. You you do have to be authentic because I feel like that's where you shine, right? When you're in your gift, you're where you're supposed to be, then your talent really comes out. And truly, I, I've had the honor of uh, reading many of your articles, and Thank you. um, and I will I can attest to that. You you want to know you know, what's coming up? What's your journey? Some advice that's going to help. I love it, and and and. I think that's important. There's a space for everyone, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So you're in your space. So congratulations. Thank you, <laughs> congratulations so. to that. Absolutely. So what do you see for um, your personal brand in the next five years? Oh, wow. That's a beautiful question. I see it staying in the media space. I also want to get back into my core roots of myself, which was an actress director. Wow. I miss that part of me. Wow. Um, media is my baby, but acting is my first love. Wow. So I definitely see myself getting back into that and the divine timing that the universe is going to allow me to put those hats back on. Oh so my goodness. I would stay, stay tuned for Tammy getting back into acting and directing. Oh my goodness. I love that. So what, what types of roles um, do you, would you like to see yourself in? Oh, I am a horror fanatic. Oh, um, my goodness. I am. And though I'm trained in acting and I can do drama, I can do comedy, um, I can do, you know, I've acted in a lot of plays on social issues as well. But horror is like my favorite genre in the entire entertainment industry. 
And I see myself being a a, a scream queen. <laughs> that makes wow, sense. that I is just, amazing. <laughs> I really do. That's oh my goodness. In the universe for sure. <laughs> That's right. You heard it here first. <laughs> I'm gonna look up and you're gonna be That's it. I love it. We're gonna be screaming to to something that you're acting to. I love it. So amazing. And so let's talk about the directing now. So so you really, I think you hit all buckets of media, right? In front of the camera, behind the camera. So tell me about the directing um, experience and what you hope to do as a director. Yes. Um, when I was in the media unit, um, it was technically called technical director mm -hmm. um, for our TV show, Rough Times Live. And basically I will call the camera shots um, and tell all three cameras if the pan left, pan right, zoom in, you know, things of that nature, get a headshot, wide shot, whatever person to capture <laughs> that aspect. Um, I also directed and produced um, a few public service announcements, um, one called um, Hear My Call, um, one called Live the Tell. Those are on domestic violence or suicide prevention PSAs. I also written and directed um, bullying PSAs, HIV awareness PSAs as well. Um, I have experience directing um, commercials, documentaries as well. Um, this is all prior to the pandemic. So I and I also um, um, produced a, a short film called Betrayal. So I just I miss that part of me so much. And, you know, I think about Oprah Winfrey, journalist, businesswoman, mm -hmm. actress, producer. Yes. All these things like it's. You know, you can do it all. Yeah. Sometimes you may only have to do a couple of things at once. You can put a hat down, pick a hat back up That's when you're right. ready. But her being such that role model, it just mm. reminds me that, you know, you can do when you what you want when you want. Exactly. I love that. Oh, my goodness. So it's, you know, how are you, what's your plan in expanding this whole media empire that you're building? Because that's exactly what you're doing. I know that you have some some upcoming plans for expansion. So um, whatever you can talk about um, as far as expanding your brand. Yes, expanding. I'm currently recruiting interns um, to help build um, my personal brand as well as my business brand on the Visionary Minds Public Relations, the media side. I'm currently looking for interns who are into public relations that can help our clients obtain more media coverage. If they're social media managers as well, writers, um, things of that nature, just pure loving content creators. Um, and the same as with my personal brand. Um, I'm a solopreneur. I'm a mom as well. So running a, a business brand and a personal brand by yourself is, is very challenging. I'm proud of what I have accomplished by myself and also with my strategic collaborators and partners. I'm glad to collaborate with you. Yeah. You know, I have a lot of media outlets who you know, they know I'm not sending them serial killers. I'm sending them positive people who are going to be worth speaking about on their media platform. So I'm so happy to have Vision and Purpose as one of the platforms. My clients are so blessed Absolutely. to be in. Um, I continue to want to connect with more journalists and publicists, you know, exploring synergies and helping each other grow because this is hard work out here. No, it is. And I just, you know, <laughs> first of all, your heart. And, you know, we talked briefly prior to us really coming together and, and as I say, forging this, this partnership um, that we have. And one thing that came clear, we were interested in a win-win situation. And I think um, for so many people, they say that, but the actions doesn't speak that. And I, and I can attest mm -hmm. that you're walking the walk and you're talking the talk. So I appreciate that. Um, from from this media side, I appreciate that because it does take us working together to grow. It does. It really does. And, and it's so simple. Like I tell tons of journalists all the time, you know, if you have a business well and or endeavor or event and you need it promoted, send it to me. I have tons of media outlets. I can get your you know, your cover is seen in and you're helping me get my clients. Get seen. Your, like exactly. it's, You know, it's, it's a win win. So. And I say that with publishers, too, because I'm a totally unconventional publicist. A lot of publishers, they're pitching all day, calling media outlets all day. As for I have strategic partners who, you know, my clients can choose and pick from what list of media outlets I have available to them for them to be featured in. So I try to go to publishers like, hey, you know, come to me. I got you. You know, we can swap and help each other clients like it's it makes the work, you know. Mm -hmm 
not scapegoating, but just easier right. because it's a hard industry and who doesn't need help? You know, you put your pride aside and like, hey, I need help. Collaboration over competition. Let's yes, do it. that's hey. Hashtag for sure. <laughs> I love it. I do. I really love it because it is so important. Um, as someone I started out um in 2020 with my um magazine, um, but the the podcasting and shows I've been doing since 2017. And when I say that it's hard work, and you know, you spoke to that, it is and 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 connecting with great people with great minds with great intentions because that's important too you can't we say collaborate but you can't collaborate with everyone um right. you know i've been burned a few times i don't dwell in it i don't but i always like to be realistic um uh, when i'm talking about connections and collaborating because if you're not like-minded or at least with the same mindset there could be some challenges there. And so I think you do a great job with um, your strategic partnership. So I just want to say Thank congratulations you. to you on that end. Absolutely. So um, I know that, and I'm not sure if the podcast has started or not, but I know that you're in in uh, in the process, I think. Yes. Of getting this guy. Can you talk about that at all? Yes, my longtime friend. Next year we'll be celebrating 10, celebrating 10 years of friendship. Wow. Bye. Um, my sister, Lakeisha Renee, and I were also media collaborators. We're behind the scenes right now working on a new podcast called Tales from the Media. I love it. Um, we're so excited. We plan to bring journalists and publicists and entertainers, anyone in front or behind the scenes of entertainment, media, fashion, what have you, um, to talk about, you know, their behind the scenes stories in their oh, industry man. or current events, going on in pop culture, things like yeah. that, to keep the narratives flowing and feed ideas off each other and inspire those who's listening. So we're behind the scenes working on that. I'm also one of the co-hosts of the podcast for New York Women in Film and Television. Uh, we've been on break all summer. We just came back for the fall with our debut episode this past week um, for this fall season. So I'm excited about being back and with that podcast as well. So stay tuned for Tales from the Media. It's coming. <laughs> Tales from the Media. I, I love it. Planning it. <laughs> I love that. I do. I love it. I love it. And so, you know, talk a little bit about really, because you, you mentioned the uh, the New York film. What is it? New York, the New York women in film and television. Film, right. Exactly. And we talked about Ford's Black. Talk to me about the importance of really being a part of different organizations and not only being a part, but being active in them, because so many times people join different things and they do nothing with that. So talk about that. Absolutely. Um, I can speak for um, New York Women in Film and Television for sure. I've been a part of that organization since 2020. Um, I immediately dived in and seeing how can I be involved. I became a part of the communications committee. Um, we meet once a month and talk about, you know, how can we get more membership? How can we get the word out about the organization? And how can we just promote our social media better? Anything regarding um, our blogs, our podcasts, the communication committee is, you know, planning strategically how to make the organization better in that aspect. And I also joined the podcast team right away, um, which I just absolutely love and been a part since I joined. Um, I blog a lot for the organization. I've covered events like Sundance Film Festival and Tribeca Film Festival, um, which brings more eyes on the um, organization. Um, I'm always connecting with women in our community um, above and below the line, front and behind the scenes. It's just a vast network of women in this organization who are open to helping each other grow connecting each other, inter-networking, um, introducing people to other people who's not even a part of the organization. Um, for example, recently I connected one of our members who works with um, Broadway shows, um, and I just got um, free tickets to see MJ the Musical next month, and MJ is like my favorite singer ever, and I've never been to a Broadway show coming from theater background. Wow. It's like my inner kid is you know, jumping out. It's just simple things like that. It's just a, a supportive community that really wants to see each other happy and win. Yes. I love that. I love that. Thank you for that. Wow. So what is it that you want um, our listeners to know about Tammy Reese? Oh, I am an open book. I am very passionate about talking about social issues through storytelling for the arts. Um, so it's not coming out as a preachy standpoint, but more of a you know awakening. Um, I love talking about um, racism prevention, suicide prevention, 
um, domestic violence, sexual assault, um, especially mental health. Um, mental health is something that's very personal to me. And I talk about it a lot online and try to showcase that, you know, whatever you see on social media, you know, can often just be a glimpse of someone's life. Just always be kind. You never know what people are going through, especially in the entertainment media industry when things are built on um, perception or reputation. And, you know, we're not robots. We're human. We have feelings and emotions and go through things in life. So I try to advocate for people to be who are experiencing mental health situations to be vocal because you never know who else you may help um, and provide, you know, coping skills or situations that you persevere dealing with these things. So um, I don't ever want to lose that part of me. So um, and also want people to know that I love mentoring other people. Um, there's tons of up and comers who are inspired about the work I do or just want to be in the media industry. Um, open book. I love paying it for. My late mother always told me to be selfless with your gifts. And that's what I will continue to do. So contact me. Uh, Instagram is the best way to follow me. Tammy Reese Media. Um, I am so here for helping women of melanin. Um, for pursue their dreams in this industry. Wow, that's amazing. Goodness, I tell you. So are there any major things coming up that you need um, for people to go out um, and support you in doing um, other than maybe uh, making sure that they uh, go to your website and, and all of your articles that you've written um, on these wonderful individuals? You know, I love showing support for that. And so what else can our listeners do to support you? Yes. Um, again, if you know anyone who's a social media manager, a content creator, writer, um, someone who's happened into the public relations or media relations industry, please have them contact me. I love the sports synergies with them. Again, yes, please follow Tells from the Media on Instagram and all social media platforms, as well as Timmy Reese Media. Also follow Visionary Minds NYS on social media platforms as well. I am just so here for everyone continuing to see what Dr. Sharon and I are collaborating on. I'm so happy to be a part of the Vision of Purpose family. It's, it's just been a joy and delight. So keep on keeping on, Dr. Sharon, and thank you so much for everything. Thank you, Tammy. I tell you guys, I am so excited. Um, we just had the great opportunity to talk to Ms. Tammy Reese, owner of Visionary Minds Public Relations and Media. Um, definitely go to her website, go to all of her social media, connect with her, follow her and see all the great things that she is doing. So once again, I am Dr. Sharon H. Porter. This is Vision and Purpose podcast today featuring Ms. Tammy Reese. Um, thank you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining another episode of Vision and Purpose Podcast. Please share, like, and subscribe. Please join us every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time.